So I'm at the wonderfully orange coloured Tin Hao MTR station and uh, I'm going to one of my favourite places which is the Central Library in Causeway Bay and we are going to be meeting we are going to be meeting Lauren Child who is the author of the Charlie and Lola books so it's super exciting so uh, let's go and do that Giant library, perfect. You were allowed to do. So now I thought I might just show you a little bit about how I work. So can you see here? These are all pieces. So I thought this might interest you. So little pieces cut out because all my work, including that poodle book, including all of the books you can see, they're all made out of what we call collage, so bits of paper. So I draw everything, then I cut it out, then I colour it, and I stick things on top of things. So you can kind of see how it works, so each piece, and so even then, just say I didn't think that was the right facial expression, I could <laughs> that. So it's a bit like making puppets. And so if I don't like, you see her legs standing like that, I could, I could make her look like she's running. I could do that. And then sometimes I have things like this. So I want to show these birds, but they're in tall grass. And then you can just lay things on top of each other. And so it's a really nice way of way of working and particularly for somebody like me because I, I'm not very good at making decisions mm. and so if you ask me to do a whole picture all in one piece and just get everything in exactly the right place I don't think I'd be very good at it so I've learned to cut everything out um, and I just thought well I'll show you how I put together one of the pictures and how it came about so I did this drawing where I usually draw in with a pencil and then, often what I do is, in the old days, I used to put it on a photocopier and blow up the picture quite big. Now, of course, we have these amazing things called scanners. I don't know if you've used a scanner, any of you, but then you can get the picture to pop up on your computer screen. And, and then you can do clever things with it, so you can make the line very black. So I like to work with very, very dark lines. So I make it very black, very big. So I cut her out. And there she is. So I decided I was going to have her sitting at a wooden table. So I went to the local, um, it's a sort of DIY shop, and, um, and I bought some of this pretend wood paper. And then I decided I wanted her to have a very wallpaper background, so it would be very busy. And so I had a piece of fabric which I photocopied, and then I thought, this can be the wallpaper, this can be the table, and there she is, you see her at a wooden table with the wallpaper behind. And then I wanted to make sure that she looked like she was sitting, so I wanted to have a chair, like that white chair you can see, and so I drew a bit of a chair. You don't need, I didn't need to draw all of it, because you're not going to see all of it. So 
I just put that behind. And now it looks like she's sitting on a chair. And then I wanted her to be looking at these peas, thinking how disgusting are those. And so instead of drawing them, which wouldn't be nearly as good, I took a photograph of some frozen peas in a bowl because I thought if they look really real, then if you don't like peas, then that's much worse than drawing them. So I then cut out the photograph and, and then what I did was I got her, let me just move her up a bit so you can see. But can you see I got her, her, her hand to actually sort of be pointing into the bowl by just putting her hand over the bowl, it looks like she's actually reaching into the bowl. And it's really clever that. And a lot of the, the um, great artists of the last century, people like Picasso and Matisse and Bra, all these, these um, artists realised that you can just make things very flat. So instead of doing this perspective that we always mm. hear about that's so difficult, actually one thing layered on top of another makes space.
so I just finished the uh, talk with Lauren Child. I think it's really, really wonderful. She spent a really long time explaining how she does her pictures, and she's also spending a really long time um, signing everyone's books and talking to all the boys and girls. If you had a chance to do this, or if you have a chance in future, I really recommend it. It's so nice to meet the author um, of books that you love and to talk to them and to see how they do their work. And um, one thing for me that I think is really uh, wonderful is that it doesn't actually seem that hard, you know? She cuts pictures out and she comes up with stories, she thinks about it and she makes it. Um, I mean, of course, she's very good at what she does, but I think it shows that anyone can do this. And you should too, if you feel that you want to write a book or, or illustrate a book. I really think that you could do that. Um, and so, yeah, why not give it a try? Why not try making a, a, a book or a, even just a picture in the style of Charlie and Lola?